much, so much. I mean, anything related to what horrible things you're doing to your children. So from the dangers of vaccines, to the dangers of what you feed them, the dangers of your cleaning products, it all comes down to capitalizing on the fear that you are not doing the best that you can for your children. I mean, chemophobia is huge, um, whether that's, you know, preservatives in your food, GMOs in your food, the cleaning products you're using at home, there's a ton about cleaning products at home. I mean, the whole Honest Company, personal care products and cleaning products and all that kind of stuff, um, I think those definitely go after moms. They un misunderstand everything about epigenetics. It's, I mean, every time there's a new field, and epigenetics is relatively new, um, I think that there are a lot of knowledge gaps that pseudoscience can jump in to try to fill, and mostly at this point, epigenetics is mostly a bunch of questions. Like, we don't know a lot about it, um, and so people jump in with a lot of promises about it, about what it is and what it can do and what you are doing to it that it just isn't supported by evidence. And I mean, I like to say everyone's like, oh, this changes your epigenome. You shouldn't do it. Everything changes your epigenome. Like this coffee that I have over here is changing my epigenome. Thinking is changing the epigenome of my neurons. So maybe stop thinking. Not really. But. So the epigenome is, so we have the genetic code, which is your string of A, G's, and C's, and T's that make up your genetic code. And traditionally, we think of the only way to change things is by mutating one of those letters. But it turns out that there's whole, this whole level of regulation that happens epigenetically over the genome. And so it's modifications of those bases, it's proteins that interact with the DNA and the modifications to that. So those are things that, they're more dynamic than changing the genome. So they give cells and organisms more flexibility to adapt to their environment and changing conditions. And so that, that set of things that regulates gene expression without changing the genetic code is epigenetics. I think it's a scientifically useless term. I think it was a term invented by activists who didn't want transgenic crops. I mean, it's not, it's not a term that we use in science. It's to me, if you say that, it's anything that we've modified, and there's any number of ways to modify the genes from more natural to less natural. Um, but the term as it's used in the lay public is not useful nor scientifically accurate. I'm concerned about antibiotic resistance. I am concerned about the effects of pollution, not as like air pollution, not as much in this country, but in China, it is especially a problem. Um, and this isn't quite, it's not environmental in the way that most people mean it, but it's environmental in the way that I think about it. And getting back to the question about moms and things that are targeted at moms' fears, it's the effect of stress on our life like we have made it so hard to be a parent and high cortisol levels sustained constantly are really bad for you stress is bad for your relationship with your kids it's bad for your kids i think we lose all of that in all of these conversations mm -hmm.